the Xbox Series X is going to be a beast. On paper, its sheer power blows away most gaming rigs today. But what does that mean for PC enthusiasts? To be honest, there's still plenty we don't know about the Series X or what the state of PC hardware will be later this year. But based on Microsoft's spec dump last week, we can start making some educated guesses. The Series X will feature an AMD Zen 2 CPU and an NVMe SSD, giving it modern processing capabilities and fast storage to reduce load times. But really, it's the AMD RDNA graphics card that's the true star of the show. And notably, that's something PC gamers can't even buy yet. It's capable of 12 teraflops of computing power, meaning it can crunch through 12 trillion floating point operations per second. That's about twice as fast as the Xbox One X, the fastest console currently on the market, and around three times speedier than the PlayStation 4 Pro. That's a performance leap we'd expect in next generation hardware. What's even more remarkable is that the Series X's GPU is also significantly faster than the vast majority of PC video cards today. It's only bested by NVIDIA's 14.2 teraflop RTX 2080 Ti, a card that's beyond most gamers' budgets at around $1,200. PC players typically aim for more affordable GPUs like AMD's Radeon RX 5700 and NVIDIA's RTX 2060 Super, which go for around $300 and $400 respectively. But those cards don't hit the 4K 60fps goal that Microsoft is aiming for with the Series X. So, you know, compared to the rig that you have right now, this console is gonna be a lot more powerful and will just deliver far better graphics. So should you just throw away your gaming rig and replace it with the Series X? Probably not. But Microsoft's new console does signal a shift in the modern gaming world, one where PC players don't always have the hardware advantage. It's a bit of a throwback to the mid 90s when the PlayStation was delivering 3D graphics before most PCs could actually handle it. So I'm sure you're wondering, how will the PlayStation 5 compare? At this point, we only have broad sketches from Sony. The company says the system will have an AMD Ryzen CPU and an RDNA GPU, but we don't know how similar they'll be to the Series X's hardware. We also know it'll feature faster load times than the PS4, thanks to SSD storage. Notably, both next-generation consoles will support hardware-accelerated ray tracing, giving you more realistic lighting and reflections. On PCs, only NVIDIA's RTX lineup supports that today, and turning on ray tracing can lead to a significant performance hit on games that really lean on it, like Remedy's Control. I'll be interested to see if AMD's revised RDNA architecture actually handles ray tracing more efficiently than NVIDIA's hardware. The real question with the Xbox Series X, how much will all this power cost you? We can only guess at the moment. The original Xbox One launched at $499 with the ill-fated Kinect accessory, while the PlayStation 4 was $100 less. That price difference and a better library of exclusives was enough to give Sony an early lead this generation. The Xbox One X was also $100 more expensive than the PS4 Pro when it launched. It also sold for $500. But the difference there was a bit more excusable since Microsoft delivered a far more powerful console. I wouldn't be surprised to see if Microsoft stuck with the $500 price range, but given the rising cost of computing hardware and the positioning of the Series X towards enthusiasts, it could conceivably reach towards $550 or even $600. That's certainly much more expensive than a typical gaming console, but even at $600, that's far less than what you'd pay for a mid-range gaming PC today. Sony, meanwhile, has been cagey about the PlayStation 5's price. That console is rumored to have a slightly slower GPU than the Series X, so it could conceivably come in a bit cheaper. But again, we really don't know. Microsoft is also reportedly planning a more affordable and less powerful next-gen console, codenamed Lockhart, for people who don't really care about native 4K gaming. One thing that PCs will always have over consoles, though, is flexibility. You can always slap a new video card, RAM, and storage into a gaming rig when it gets a little long in the tooth. But consoles are frozen with the hardware they ship with. That's what pushed Sony and Microsoft to release the One X and PS4 Pro in the middle of this generation. Those original consoles couldn't keep up with the fancy 4K TVs consumers were buying. As powerful as the Series X will be, it'll never be something you can open up and tinker with. So rest easy, PC gamers, your rig still serves a purpose. Stay tuned to Engadget.com for more news about the Xbox Series X. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe.